Well, today I want to go a little deeper and talk about what occupies our mind and which problems we have sometimes to struggle with. We all have situations that we have to master and moments that we have to deal with. We can learn from many moments in life. Today I want to pick four bad habits of modern artists that are never really talked about. But today it should be different. Let's start with the first point. The problem with social media. It's basically not a real problem, but the problem arises with the number of followers. Because many people guess that an artist's skills depend on the number of subscribers to his channel. But that is not always correct. I see many channels of artists who have a very large reach and community. But based on their pictures and works, you can guess that the skills are not very outstanding. Today, it is easy to be successful if you use the internet properly. But does it always make sense to grow? We should rather grow in our abilities and not be busy revealing something about our life on the internet every day. Of course, it is important for an artist to present themselves on the internet because as a modern artist it is important to make a living through the income on the internet. But just because the algorithm wants it, it doesn't make sense to be forced to publish something every single day. I know what I'm talking about. I am an artist myself who has to earn money with his works of art in order to be able to make a living from that. But Ask yourself the question, where does life really take place? On the internet or wherever I am physically? And that brings us straight into point number two. To compare yourself to others. That is not always an advantage because each of us is individually and in his own way good at what we do. And that's just good enough. Because, let's be honest, how often do we see pictures on the internet by other artists that we totally respect? And what happens at this moment when we look at another artist's picture? It's clear we begin to judge. We judge the picture, what we are actually seeing. And we judge the current state of our skills compared to the masterpiece of the artists. It's not always a good thing. Okay, I must admit, looking at other works of art also inspires me a lot. However, if you invest too much time in observing what other people are doing, then it is not beneficial for you. Focus on your own abilities and try to grow with your challenges. Try to identify your weaknesses and strengthen them by repeating difficult tasks like drawing or perspective or something like I don't know. And try to not make a mistake more than twice.
The next point I'd like to share with you guys is our fleeting perception. The problem with our current perception is the factor of time. Time is running so fast. We do many things every day. We sometimes master two tasks at the same time, two activities at the same moment. We work at the desk or we do our homework and on the side we see who has just written us to the messenger. I remember once someone told me that I have to learn to do two things in parallel at the same time. And I was like, damn, I have to learn this. Today, I know that it doesn't make any sense to do two things at the same time. Because how could I focus 100% on both things? We draw or we paint in our studio and at the same time we scroll through the current Instagram feed. As a result, we are not focused on the work that we are doing. This is when mistakes arise. For example, we become inattentive looking at the picture or photo we are trying to draw. So ask yourself whether it is really necessary to have to do several things in parallel at the same time? Question mark. That leads us straight into point number four, the sunny side of life. What does that mean? Every artist on the internet or every influencer shows the world only the best side of their life. But we know that this is not always the case. Every sunny side in life also has its darker side. Not every day is always optimal. I know that, but nobody speaks about it in public because everyone tries to show the best side. But does that always make sense? Let me tell you something. It's okay to make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. And anyone who claims on the internet that they are perfect in living, they are lying. Isn't it much nicer when you can share your problems with others and possibly even find a solution for the problem together? Everyone makes mistakes in life. So, me too. Also, in my works of art. However, I try to hide them cleverly by drawing over the same spot several times. Art is not about avoiding mistakes. It's simply the opposite. Mistakes are allowed. It's about making these mistakes looking beautiful and making people feel like it's beautiful. With the help of stylistic devices such as perspective, harmony of colors, contrasts and much more. Also, stop believing that there is an artist on the internet who leads a perfect life and hanging around in the world, enjoying the life and selling artwork once a year. Such people exist only two or three times in the entire world. If you are still there and have watched this video so far, I would like to say thank you very much and I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel and give a thumb up for this video. If you would like to see more videos like this in future, please write that in the comments. I am always happy to share my thoughts with you and I would like to end this video with an open question. Do you recognize yourself in one of these four points? Let me know in the comments. I wish you a nice morning, 
noon or evening, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, I'll see you in the next time.